Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC as you can see over here. And moreover, we have been given these two angles and one side. And now we are going to calculate these sides AB and AC. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video tutorial, I will share with you two different methods. One is going to be with trigonometry and the other one without trigonometry. And here's our very first method with trigonometry. Before we go any further, let me go ahead and look at these angles. Let me go ahead and call this angle alpha at this vertex A angle beta at this vertex B and then gamma at vertex C. Now let's recall the sum of these all angles equal to 180 degrees because the sum of these all angles of a triangle are 180 degrees. And now we know that our angle beta is 30 degrees and angle gamma is 45 degrees. I have just replaced these values and we have calculated our angle alpha turns out to be 105 degrees. So I'm going to write down this angle alpha is 105 degrees and here's our next step let's focus on this vertex a the opposite side to this vertex a is going to be this side I'm going to call this lowercase a let's focus on this vertex b the opposite side to this vertex b is going to be this side ac i'm going to call this lowercase b and likewise this side ab i'm going to call this lowercase c and now we will find the value of b and the value of C and we will be using law of signs and here's the law of signs that we'll be using a over sine alpha equal to C over sine gamma where a is 8 C we are going to find the value of alpha is 105 degrees and gamma is 45 degrees and now let's go ahead and isolate this side C so I am going to multiply both side by sine of gamma this side and sine of gamma this side this sine gamma and sine gamma is gone so we simply ended up with C equal to a times sine gamma over sine of alpha and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a in our case is 8 times sine of gamma is 45 degrees over sine of 105 degrees and let's go ahead and fill in the blanks once again a times sine of 45 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.7071 divided by the value of sine of 105 degrees is 0 0.9659 and if we simplify this right hand side our c value is approximately equal to 5.86 so thus our c value this side turns out to be approximately 5.86 and now we are going to find the value of b now this time we are going to use this law of sines a over sine alpha equal to b over sine beta once again our a side is 8 we are going to find the value of b alpha is 105 degrees and beta this time is 30 degrees let's go ahead and isolate this b so we are going to multiply by sine of beta both sides let's go ahead and do that one sine of beta sine of beta is gone so b turns out to be equal to a times sine of beta 
over sine of alpha in our case a is 8 times sine of beta in our case is 30 degrees divided by sine of alpha is 105 degrees and we know that the sine of 30 degrees is 0 0.5 and sine of 105 degrees is 0 0.9659 I have just copied down over here so let's calculate the right hand side so our B turns out to be approximately equal to 4.14 so thus our B value turns out to be approximately equal to 4.14. So thus we have figured out our B values as 4.14 and C value 5.86 by using the trigonometry and that is our answer. And here is our second method. This time we will be finding the values of these side lengths a b and a c using without trigonometry and here's the very first step we are going to do i am going to divide this big triangle a b c into two triangles two right triangles by simply dropping this vertical this uh, i am going to call this vertical a d and here's our much nicer looking diagram and these angles are like over here are 90 degrees each and now let's focus on this right triangle ADC we know that this angle is 90 degrees this is 45 degrees we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees so this angle has got to be 45 degrees and now let's apply this 45 45 90 degree theorem according to this theorem since these two sides are equal in length if I call this side X then this side is going to be X as well isn't it and this side AC is going to be simply x times square root of 2 as you can see over here and now let's focus on this other right triangle a d b before we go any further we know that this whole side length is 8 units this one is x units so this side length has got to be 8 minus x and now let's go ahead and apply this 30 60 and 90 degree theorem on this right triangle a d b and according to this theorem if this side is x then this hypotenuse has got to be twice of that one so that means this side is going to be 2 times x according to this fact over here as you can see and since we are dealing with this right triangle ADB so therefore we are going to use this Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this side this uh, db as lowercase a this side b and this uh, hypotenuse I'm gonna call side c and here's our Pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so this is going to become 8 minus x square plus b in our case is x square equal to 2x and then square and now let's go ahead and expand this binomial by using this a minus b square formula so that is going to become 64 minus 16x plus x square and then plus x square equal to 4x square and here on the left hand side I have combined the like terms x square plus x square become 2x square minus 16x plus 64 equal to 4x square let's move everything on the right hand side 
So we're going to have 4x squared, then this becomes negative 2x squared plus 16x minus 64 equal to 0. So thus we ended up with 2x squared plus 16x minus 64 equal to 0. Let me go ahead and divide by 2 across the board to make things simple. So we ended up with simply x squared plus 8x minus 32 equal to 0. And we can see that this is a quadratic equation, so we are going to solve it by using this quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So x is going to be negative 8 plus r minus. So that is going to give us 8 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 32. Everything is divided by 2 times 1. And here after simplifying all these I got negative 8 plus minus square root of 192 divided by 2. And now let's focus on this part square root of 192. I have just copied it down over here and after simplification I got 8 times square root of 3. So therefore I can write this x equal to negative 8 plus or minus a times square root of 3 and divided by 2 I'm going to split these two fractions and now we can see negative 8 over 2 is going to give us negative 4 plus or minus 4 times square root of 3. So this is our x value. Now let's split the sign. So x could be written as negative 4 plus 4 times square root of 3. The other value is going to be x equal to negative 4 minus 4 times square root of 3. And now we can see this first value is going to give us a positive 1 and the second one is going to give us a negative 1. And since x represents the length so length cannot be negative so we are going to discard this solution we're going to throw this one away so thus we are going to accept this positive value so i can write x is equal to 4 times square root of 3 minus 4 so we got this x equal to 4 times square root of 3 minus 4 is our x value. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the side length AC, this one. So we know AC equal to x times square root of 2. So that is going to give us square root of 2 times, in our case, x is this value. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So 4 times square root of 3 minus 4. Let's go ahead and multiply that thing that's going to give us 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 minus 4 times square root of 2. That is simplified as 4 times square root of 6 minus 4 times square root of 2. So thus our AC length turns out to be a 4 times square root of 6 minus 4 times square root of 2 or we could simplify it as uh, it's approximately equal to 4.14. And now let's go ahead and calculate the value of side length AB on this side over here. So AB equals to 2x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So 2 times and x in our case is this one. So let's put it down 4 times square root of 3 minus 4. That is going to give us 8 times square root of 3 minus 8. So thus our AB value turns out to be 8 times square root of 3 minus 8 are approximately equal to 5.86 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.